What's up, buddy? So, told you I would do a little video on this roller for you to show you a little bit on how I work it because it is quite fat roller. You know, this is a three quarter nap, pretty colossus. Make sure you use drop sheets. Um, but essentially, the trick to this roller is knowing how far it will take you and then how much to dip it, right? So I got this soaked pretty well. So I know this is probably gonna take me about two and a half, three feet. And then once it's worn dry, then you go back and back roll it and it picks up the extra paint and smooths it out. So check it out. I'm not gonna start too close to the frame. I wanna start about here and see where this takes me, right? So I start smoothing it out and I start bringing it over. Right, so I'll stop about here because I'm seeing I'm running out of paint. You can hear the stickiness of it, right? So now that I'm here, then you want to come back, pick this all up. This is like your first back roll. This smooths it all out. And then what you want to do now, guys, is get this fluffy and then lightly touch it. And literally, this is your back roll. And this, even though this roller is like that fluffy, it still leaves an amazing finish. But it's all about wearing the paint out of your roller. Look, I got barely anything in here. So then I'll go back after, pick this up, and this smooths it out. I know what a lot of guys are probably thinking. Dude, with a microfiber, I would have been one, two, three, no sausages, would have been done. But with a microfiber, sometimes on whites and darker colors, when you're trying to cover, microfibers don't cover. So these Colossus rollers are mint. So now I'm gonna get a good hefty dip and take it another three feet. No, oh, I didn't dip it enough. I'm already starting to run out of paint. I'll come back, I'll pick this stuff up. And I'll come back. This is as far as I'm gonna get, I can tell now. So then I just smooth this all out. If there's still too much, then when I get to here, fluffy. Look how fluffy it is. That smooths it right out. The problem some guys have with a roller like this on small walls is if you have like only four feet, don't over dip it. Just get enough on there. Sometimes you got to work it. So I can understand this roller could be a little bit more work, like physically, but it covers better. It covers way more ground than a microfiber. So that's why we like to use them. And that's how you get that smooth finish. It's all about that fluffy back roll. You won't even be able to hear it. Listen to the sound of it now. It's not sticky. It's just like boom. So that's it. Much love, guys.